I have two things to clarify. I want to tell Migori people that the day has come. We have had a lot of propaganda that have been wading through. Those who had propaganda should now think of something else. Yeah. I am sure that on the 9th of uh, August this year, the Migori people are going to elect a person of their choice, somebody that has worked for them and is tested, somebody that has positive track record. And I don't think anybody will beat me in that. After that, on the 10th or so, I expect I will be declared the winner of this gubernatorial seat in Migori County. There are two issues I want to raise. We have had the propaganda I've told you about. They have scandalized in somebody that I wanted to be my deputy. They have talked about his not having the right papers. And I want to tell Kenyans and Migori people that my brother Bohonko Matiku has all the required papers for this particular job. Why did I have to decide on somebody else? I did that because our opponents did not want to see his face. And by not seeing his face, you never know and you know who they are. There was about 1% chance that the entire seat could have, la could have flopped. And that is why on a gentleman's way, Migori is bigger than an individual. My brother Bohongo here decided to step down and gave me a chance to get somebody else. I have my brother John, John Mora, Maroa. Bwana Moingera is somebody who is a seasoned churchman. And when we talk about peace, the combination here is nothing other than peace. And that's what we are asking Migori people. Let us go for peace. Let us elect that pair that will deliver in Migori. I want to assure Kenyans and Migori people that when I was a member of Migori, of the former Migori, currently Suna East and Suna West, you can go to the field today. There is no sub-location where I don't have more than three projects that I did during my five years. I therefore want to promise Migori people that when I become your governor, I will ensure that I don't discriminate any sub-county in Migori. The eight or so billion that you are getting will be shared equitably after paying the salaries in time. I will ensure that people who are employed in this county are also paid in time because you cannot work without being paid in time. The second agenda, which is another propaganda, some people dare call me that I am somebody's man. I have never been anybody's man. John Pesa is a renowned scholar and educationist. I have been a principal in several institutions. Who is this man that took me to those institutions other than my brain? I have been a member of parliament for Migori. Who actually was the man behind my going there? It was totally myself and my past record. I am in a party, DAPK, which is in Asmio. And if you dare call me that I belong to Uda, you are just a fool. You are just a fool. How can somebody in DAP, which is a, an affiliate party in Azimio La Umoja, headed by the Honorable Doctor Engineer Raila Molodinga, and you dare call me an Uda man, my friend there, tell the Kenyans what you have done where you were appointed to work before. That is the agenda we want. Tell them. Some of you have been ministers. If you are a minister for energy, tell them where you took electricity when you are working in the office. Exactly. If you are a minister for sports, we have a problem in Uganda. We have no study. What did you do when you are a minister? When you ask me as a teacher, I have built in Migori constituency 26 secondary schools that are functional today and 19 primary schools. 
If you want me to quantify, I will, but not now because we have no time. If you ask me about the bridges I built, I built nine bridges in Migori, Sona East and Sona West. They are there. People are seeing them. If you want to ask me, the students have taught. Even amongst us here, kuna watu wanakula because of John Pesk. You come out and tell Kenyans and Migori people what you have done for them before. 